So we're going to start off with Nile, first of all, because they're, yeah. I mean, it's, he was just sort of hoiked out of there yeah. with not much of an explanation. Well, we just lost him, didn't we? We didn't really get, we haven't had any explanation yet. There's loads of rumours online. Um, Love Island released a statement saying that he's left for personal reasons and that none of the rumours are true. We've also been told he won't be doing any press for now or interviews. What's so he just basically sort of left. It's odd he didn't get to say goodbye. I know, it's you, a bit sad, really. It feels like, I mean, alarm bells slightly ring, I guess. I don't like the sound of this. No, I know. I've, I've all my, like, sources, my connections, other, I haven't heard anything. So we still, I don't know anything. Yeah. Where, well, I mean, I've I got a feeling, right. the thing is, I've got a feeling that, you know, no matter what it is, and, and I hope, obviously, we hope all his family are all right, we hope yeah. all his friends are okay, we hope he's okay. But um, but if it's something else, yeah. then uh, yeah. then it you know, unfortunately you can't keep the lid on these things. So yeah, you know, we'll I mean the viewers are gutted. Someone put a really good tweet actually. Now secured a personalised water bottle, more social media followers, a nice holiday, and now he's home in time for the World Cup. Yeah, good point. So, yeah. Good point. Maybe. However, Georgia moved on quite quick, didn't she? I don't know if she even really noticed that he was gone, and she was just like, oh, I've lost my buddy. Next. <laughs> yeah, was she really? But you've was. got to have that attitude in there, haven't you? Really. That's huh? true. That's the name of the game. Uh, yeah. Well, we said this yesterday. Um, and uh, I think we're sticking by it now, and I think everyone else has caught up. What a snake Adam is. Oh. I mean, what is he like? It's not good. I mean, I've got to be honest, I feel like in some ways he's doing what you are meant to do, and that is test the waters and whatever, whatever, but it's just the way he's going about it is not nice. Mm. Yeah, and... especially as those two were friends. So, like, he yeah. went right to the front. Megan and Rosie are the sort of, they're the closest in there, yeah, really. Yeah, exactly. And he went, he obviously jumped from Kendall to Rosie and now he's trying to move on to Megan. Um, so we did a poll. We did a poll because we want to see who the biggest snake was. Right. Oh, okay. is this, oh, okay. okay, so let's have a look. So the poll says, so this is E.L. Oh, look at that. 50-50. Oh, is it 50-50? Yeah, well, look at After last night, so I need to catch you guys up. So last night, obviously, we saw the E.L. kissed Megan. Megan, right in front of Alex's face. Yeah, it was him. I, I, Alex said it was... So, Alex is Alex, the doctor. Yeah. Uh, he has, is so far, been fairly barren for him, as yeah, far as love is concerned. So, he life. likes Megan, she likes him. Yeah. She's a little bit torn because she quite likes Eyal as well. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so, she sits down and talks to Eyal. Then he follows her over and yeah. kisses her whilst Alex and is there. Let's just not miss out the fact that he went to kiss her and she turned her cheek twice and then he went in and did it again. Mm. Megan, yeah, down at the fireplace. But then yeah. the picture, I feel like she, he kissed her once and she kind of went back in for another one. So then when yeah. she Well, let's have, a, of, let's have a look, a little yeah. bit of this. Here you go. <laughs> you guys came over, kissed, then walked away. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, everyone, everyone just we saw were, that. I know like, it was just the moment that we were in because we were continuing to have our conversations. I always think treat people how you treat them. Like, I guess uh, I wouldn't personally have done it, but yeah, I know, I know. You know it is what it is. See, I'm. I don't like it when somebody sort of pretends to be kind of all sort of. You know, kind of like really peaceful yeah. and hippie and sort of one with the world, and then they yeah. get a little bit like they sort of aggressively pursue no, something. Totally and I'm agree. like, oh, hang on. And a I minute. feel like I, I've been very team EO up to now, and I feel like just this with the moment, we've heard that excuse. I mean, he's been using that as its excuse for everything, sort of thing. Yeah. And what I do like is seeing Alex sticking up for himself. Yes. That was quite... I like the fact that he actually called him out on it. Rather than just, like, turning a blind eye to it, he actually, like, confronted him and said that wasn't cool. Well, funny Which enough, he good. needs to do nothing. He just needs to sit back and watch Eyal kind of implode on him. Yeah. Eyal the eel. Yes. Well, yes um, who, um, who is... Uh, who's going to... Because it's recoupling tonight, then. So, uh, so where's she going to go? Does she... Uh, do, 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 do you, who, do you, who do you think she'll go with? Will she I go with Eyal? She keeps using the expression that with her head, she yeah. would pick Alex. Yeah. yeah. I think, and her personally... and, and they were joking on the telly last night, yeah. saying that um, if, her, if her mum had been watching, we'd be shouting, go with the doctor, go yeah, with the doctor. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like at the point that they've gone in, her, those three, they have watched the show. She knows he's popular. I feel like her brain is telling her he's a safe bet if she couples up with him, he's probably not going to ditch her. She's, you know, he's popular on the outside. Like tactically, he's the right choice. But I think I do. I think she's attracted to Eo. I think she will pick him. Do you? Yeah. See, I, I think after last night, she won't. You? I think he made her cross last night. I think. I, I think, think he, you're right. I think might she right. might have picked him until, until he played he those that. cards. I totally agree. But in a way, if she's not convinced, I almost would prefer she's picked Eo and let him and Sam stay together and just be friends. Alex and Sam just stay friends, and then he can. Yeah, but Alex doesn't want friends. No, but just for now, like rather than him couple up Megan, get his hopes her. up and then be hurt a week later. Mm. She might fall in love with him. Not Maybe. everybody like fancies each other straight from the start. So Wes and Laura are definite. Danny yeah. and Jack, definite. Yeah. Georgia and Josh. It's a, you see, mm. with Josh and Charlie, I couldn't call it right now. Right. Because I feel like 
It depends what also what Rosie does, doesn't it? Oh. I Which really hope she's going to go. Adam, but I think she will. Well, and we've also got to, we've got to say, um, the, what's uh, fantastic about, and they're all sort of appearing very slowly yeah. here uh, in uh, in front of us, um, uh, is uh, is Charlie and his incredible disappearing eyebrows. I mean, they're fully gone now. We had like 10% brow on arrival, and now we've got like minus five. And Hayley telling him he should tint them, bless her. I know. Bless her. I quite like the fact she's unfiltered like that. Yeah, uh, yeah no, fair Reminds enough. Reminds you of someone.